Ooh, sorry, the lighting is like crazy right now. <laughs> Jesus, I'm tripping over stuff already. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been posting like all summer. <laughs> do apologize for that. Uh, for those who are subscribed to me, I do apologize for my lack of posting and my absence from YouTube lately. I really wanted to make this video today because I am closing down my in-home daycare in a week. So I have one more week after today, because today's Friday. I never, you know, I had all these ideas that I wanted to share with you guys, all these video ideas that I wanted to make, and I just never got around to doing it because I've been so, like, insanely busy with this. You know, this was my first time ever doing this, so I spent all my time pretty much this summer on my in-home daycare. So videos, I mean making videos, they just weren't my top priority this summer and I do apologize because I know I said in my past videos that I was going to be posting all summer and it, you know I was going to be less busy because I won't be at work teaching. Well, you know, that just wasn't true <laughs> and that's what I had to learn the hard way is that this was much much more work than teaching in my classroom a thousand percent because I am alone here like totally alone i handle all the financing i handle all the cleaning like there's no cleaning person that comes in like i'm cleaning everything my hours are longer like there's just so much that goes into it and it was a lot more work totally worth it i'm not complaining but definitely wouldn't have had time to film sorry about my hair i don't know how to do a bun so this is what i'm gonna look like for this video since i'm closing in a week i just i wanted a chance to give you guys a tour of my daycare space because this is literally the room i've been living in all summer and i worked really hard on it and i wanted to just share this piece of my life with the world now this is a pretty real tour i haven't you know made it look all perfect and neat for a tour there's preschoolers in here from 8 a.m to 5 p.m <laughs> most days so <laughs> it's not gonna look perfect it's currently a little bit past 8 a.m and i actually open at 8 a.m i'm not expecting anybody today until nine o'clock because a lot of my kids are away on vacation Ooh, the battery is about to die so let me change that real quick and i'll be right back <laughs> i just want to give you a few little details about my daycare before I jump into the tour. You won't see baby stuff, you won't see any of that because I only do kids two and a half to four, like preschool age children. I actually don't have any kids younger than three. That's why you'll only be seeing things for that age group in this room. I only have up to six kids at a time. I know it seems kind of like a low number but I promise you when you know you're by yourself and it's one room that you're using all day. It's kind of a different story. I don't use my whole house. I'm only gonna be showing you this room and maybe another day I'll do like an outside tour, but today I'm only gonna be showing you the inside of my daycare space. So let's jump right into it. So this is the door where kids and the parents enter. They walk in here, they put their lunch in our mini fridge. This was my mini fridge from my college dorm, actually. We just have some fruit and veggies, some applesauce, yogurt, yogurt basic stuff in there. On the fridge, you'll see our little fridge rover. The kids really love it and it's, you know, it's a good conversation starter about gravity and space and stuff like that. So I got this at Lakeshore. I think it was like $2, <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Sorry, don't mind my cat. But as you'll notice, this room's also a storage room and a laundry room. And this is just some of my kids' projects that they left here or something. This is our air freshener. <laughs> This is some stuff I'm giving away. It's almost the end of the summer, so all the stuff up here is, like, going away. But yeah, so it's not ideal, but it is what it is, and it works for us because they can just come in here, kind of get to the room. Right over here, we keep all of our outside stuff in this, like, shopping cart that I got on Facebook Market for, like, $5. All these toys in here, like a bat. This is all outside stuff. Kite, some water toys, sidewalk chalk, and, like, bubbles down there jump rope and it works great because when we want to go outside we can literally just pull the card out and bring it right out the door this is our little coat rack i don't have cubbies i just have this little coat hook and they hang their backpacks and and rain jackets on it it is summer so i don't have like winter boots and winter coats all over the place so I, this really for the summer worked well for us but i think next summer i'm gonna change it up and get some cubbies or something find a place for them and it's a pretty cute coat rack it has like these little teddy bears at the bottom so this room has a door that we can close this is what you see when you walk in <laughs> and my cat on the rug <laughs> the first thing when you walk in is we have a shoe tray i do clean it every day i don't know why it's so nasty looking but yeah this is our shoe tray all the kids put their shoes right there and then we have our bulletin board. This is just where I like to hang some things up for the parents to see. It's where we keep our calendar. And next week's my last week, so I really haven't been 
I'm writing too much up there. And then I just I have some notes up here for things I want to do with them next week before they leave. And today's activities I was still working on. <laughs> then I have don't forget parents. And I always leave a little note there for them. We have our little snack menu. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's like a little locker magnet, but I think it looked so cute for our little snack menu. So every day I write what we're going to have for snack in the morning and afternoon and what day it is right there. <laughs> Let me just block the names on the sign-in sheet. This is my sign-in sheet. Obviously you can see I keep track of how many kids were here that morning and who came, who was absent, what time they leave, what time they go and the date is up there too. Right above that I have our safety drills. You can actually get this on uh, Teachers Pay Teachers. So I printed it out and I just laminated it and stuck it on a command hook and binder ring. Right below that we have our bins from Walmart. I think they were $10 each. This one holds our snacks. And then on the top I just have plates, wipes, hand sanitizer, and cups. And inside the drawers we just, this is like kind of more our treats drawer. Oh geez. <laughs> In here we have pirate booty, pretzels, and down here I like to keep extra baggies, spoons and forks, some crazy straws, um, extra wipes, stuff like that. This drawer I keep on top. This is more like the office stuff and it's kind of like so messy right now. I'm so sorry. We keep our wipes, like cleaning wipes. I have my tape, pencil sharpener, this little green bin has so much stuff in it, but it's all mostly my stuff. Nothing in here is for the kids. And then we just have my little, like, organizer that's from Walmart also, and it holds all of my office stuff. I've never had a problem with the kids coming over here and, like, trying to grab stuff, so it works for us as it is. Here's my little journal, and here's our class Kindle. The kids only get to use this sometimes. We definitely don't play it every day. Then we just have our markers and our crayons. This is kind of like our office stuff, our Kindle charger... Uh, we just picked up these people colors from Lakeshore. They're so cute. We have extra markers, glue sticks. Down here, this is like our craft supplies. So we have uh, construction paper, felt paper, yarn, popsicle sticks. Down here is where we keep our actual like crafts that we can do, like DIY bags. Over there is a hot mess. That's my teacher bag. I just keep all my stuff, books, like workbooks, stuff like that in there. And it looks like a mess right now. I do apologize. But I did say this would be a real tour, and that's, this is what it usually looks like, so. And in this bag on the floor, we just keep our sand. We do a lot of sand art, and honestly, the bag, we do it so often that I just leave it here so I can keep refilling. It's usually back there with that stuff. Don't know why it's just sitting here, but whatever. Then we have all of our chairs and my cat. I have six chairs, and they go to this table here. And if I have six kids that day, I do pull it out a little bit, but for the most part, this is where it is. I got this for $90 on... Facebook market and in reality I think this would have cost me around 200 so I got really lucky with this table it's so great it cleans easily it's adjustable it's perfect for my kids on the table I just have some little trays I got all these trays at the Dollar Tree and they're awesome they're the perfect size for preschoolers guys when we do sand art all the sand spills in these trays rather than all over the table. Right above the table we have our bulletin board. The board itself my parents were getting rid of so I just took it. But the actual, you know, border and all that stuff is- it was in a set from the Dollar Tree so it actually only cost a dollar. This is my second or third one from there that I've had up this summer and I just love it. It's so cute and it really does fit the board. Well, almost fits completely. I have all the kids names written up here on the jellyfish and they really like to look up during snack time or when we're doing craft and like find their name. Right next to that we have our United States map, which I got at the Target dollar spot. I think it was one or two dollars. <laughs> it's a felt board map. Uh, we don't use it too often, but sometimes we talk about the states and stuff. It's a nice visual for the kids to have. Right below that we have our kind of like our cars area. We have the Fisher Price racetrack and our Melissa and Doug parking garage. The kids enjoy both of these. We pulled them out onto the rug and yeah, they don't stay there while they're playing with it. And you'll notice this um, cable wire here, it hasn't been an issue at all, but I do hate that it's there. There's literally nowhere else for it to go, and there's nothing I can do to move it, but it's never ever been an issue. My kids are old enough to know not to touch this kind of stuff, and we did talk about it at the beginning of the summer, and it's never been an issue since. And you'll notice this outlet is not covered, but that's because I'm constantly charging something there, but I do have an outlet cover for it. It's not, you know, exposed if we're not using it. Over here, oh geez, I forgot to move all the chairs. Let me do that real quick. This is our little art center, but you'll notice we just have this step two 
art easel. I got it on Facebook Market. It's worked really well for us. Highly recommend it. This side is a whiteboard, and also it's a magnetic whiteboard. And back here, under all this stuff, these are all of our circle time things and extra smocks and stuff, is a chalkboard. We don't use the chalkboard much. Then over here I have all these smocks that I got at the Dollar Tree. They held up pretty well for the summer. Um, they definitely got messy. <laughs> we paint a lot. This whole tray is usually filled with paint cups, but um, the paint cups are actually back here right now. This is where I store all the paint stuff, like paper. These are our like water cups that we use to wash off our brushes when we're painting. Paint brushes. Those are our dot paints. Life hack, real quick. Instead of buying all the Dua Dots, you can get these bingo dabbers at AC Moore. They are one dollar, and they literally do the same thing as the Dua Dots. I keep all, all the paint stuff really stays back here. Like I was saying, I usually keep the paints all in this tray, but lately we've been using the whiteboard a lot more than painting. As you'll notice, there's no easel paper in here right now. That's because I recently got these magnetic gears from Lakeshore, and the kids have been loving them. And I also have these. Uh, magnetic letters they've been loving and my easel paper is right here. It's usually behind there But if you've noticed there's balloons all over the place and that is because last week or two weeks ago Was my <laughs> little sister's birthday. She gave my kids all these balloons Which has been keeping them pretty occupied. So I've just left them here because they love them so much, but Yeah, they take up a lot of space. So we just kind of throw them behind the easel. And under the easel I also have, my kids are ridiculous, so we have these plastic balls, but also we have these just red solo cups that they they stack them up and they think of different ways they can like, they play bowling, they do target practice with this, like it's crazy, all the things that they can do with just cups. So yeah, we keep cups and <laughs> some balls down here for bowling and whatever else they want to do. Over here is our caterpillar, he's only over here because He's helping to barricade the balloons. I know, this is like a mess back here, but um, I got him at a thrift store. My preschoolers fit perfectly on it, and they've loved it all summer. And up here on the walls, we just have their paintings. I like to hang up some of their artwork. Now, obviously, I can't hang up all of the kids' artwork because it would take up the whole wall, but these two drew some sunsets. We have, like, a house, and <laughs> this little boy drew a 3D printer, which I think is interesting. And we just have our friendship tree, which we all made together. And it's really really cute. These mats down here, I put these here, they're from five below, and that's just in case paint is to spill. I mean working with preschoolers, paint is likely to spill. This is just so it doesn't fall on the carpet, because if it falls on these mats, I mean they were only three dollars, so I don't mind them getting ruined. Then we just have these two stools from Ikea. Sometimes the kids sit on them when they are painting, sometimes they sit on them while they're reading a book, sometimes they bring them over to the kitchen and pretend they're tables. And then right here we have a little reading area. I got this Reading Rocks poster. It's Pete the Cat. I got this at Lakeshore. Lakeshore has great posters. Highly, highly recommend. And then we just have this dog, stuffed animal. My kids like to read with stuffed animals and lay with them and stuff. I have a little book spin. These are all of our tinier books. Right here is our bookshelf. I got this bookshelf off eBay. It wasn't very easy to put together. It's, it's a sling, so I'll try to find it on eBay. It was only like $15. That's why I bought it. But it works really, really great for us. And all the books in here are all from like thrift stores. I change the books out every week. The big ones usually stay. It fits perfectly right under the windowsill. Up here, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just storing some extra paint. Then we just have some toys on the windowsill. This pirate ship I got for free at a thrift store. This is a Peppa Pig house. And that is a VTech learning globe. And then right here, this is our sensory bin. And it's literally a Sterilite rolling under the store, under the bed storage cart, I believe. And I bought a 20 pound, $7 bag of rice from Walmart. And I dumped it in here. And I just threw a couple things in there. Toys, scoops that I got from the Dollar Tree rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are newer in our bin, but these little test tubes that they have filled with rocks, I'm not noticing. A funnel, this this is a really, you, you need a bigger funnel for rice because sand goes through pretty easy, but the rice doesn't, so. So just stuff like that, and they have loved this so much, and I will do a whole video about this. It's definitely our favorite toy in the room, and I do consider it a toy because of how much they play with it. I keep it right up there, and it usually has a lid on it, but the kids just left and I just like threw it up here so I have to go find the lid wherever it is. And right over here I have a little bit of air freshener. This is our <laughs> calm down kit. And it has lots of different things in here. I'm going to make a separate video about this as well. Show you guys what's like all in there but that's a whole video in and of itself. This is our alpha box. 
I'll make a whole video about this too. This is just a school bus toy. It's pretty big. It fits pretty perfect up there. And then over here, this is kind of where we do circle time. And down here is like bean bags. My boss let me borrow this one, so I'm not sure where it's from. This is a flex base uh, chair from Lakeshore, and I absolutely love it. Here, I'm going to show you guys how it works real quick. I think they're pretty expensive. I did get mine on a discount, but I would definitely pay full price for it because it is worth it. So it bends all the way back, and you can actually adjust. It's very cool. You can take this off and wash it. I promise this video is not sponsored. I just really recommend these chairs. And right here is our circle time area. So we have this calendar. We love it. It's great. It works for us. We have my little my little pointer, of course. We have our temperature. I got this at the Dollar Tree. Somebody must have been messing with it because it's definitely not 50 degrees. These are kind of some topics that we've talked about all summer. We did a lot of friendship and kindness. These are just some things I really like to go over with my kids and help them become good people. That's kind of the goal. And then right above that, we have our numbers chart, 1 to 20. And I also got our alphabet chart at Oriental Trading. The milkshake chair. Sorry, I realized you're probably all wondering, like, why is this upside down? It popped, so <laughs> it's leaking from the bottom. So I turned it upside down so that it would stop leaking when I sit on it. Because I sit here when we do circle time and the kids kind of all pull up a chair or whatever chair they want. And we all sit in a circle kind of around it. So yeah, that's why it's upside down if you're wondering. And then right up here is our TV, obviously. It's on a really, really... Hi. <laughs> it's on a really sturdy mount. Right below that, this is my prize box. <laughs> it's kind of overflowing. It's mostly things left over from like holidays. And I keep some... My kids are crazy about Pokemon cards right now. So I keep Pokemon cards in there. Little cars, there's slinkies. Just fun things like that. And at the end of the week, if they had good behavior all week they get a prize cable box dvd player all the remotes <laughs> just kind of sit there if you guys have any good tips on organizing a bunch of remotes let me know <laughs> and then this is a hot mess so like i said my kids are super into pokemon so we have all these pokemon dvds these are all of our movies that we rent from the library because my kids don't do nap time we do movie time because they're too old for naps none of them take naps anymore we watch a movie every day and that kind of is my nap time i don't know why there's like paper over here but then we just have these are like my characters the dragon from dragons love tacos book and this is obviously the lorax and we just have some books up here that we read um whoops <laughs> that we read during story time let me grab that okay don't push the button that's a really great one okay okay you know what <laughs> oh my god okay i will have to fix that another time but right now I'm going to continue with the video, so anyway, that usually doesn't happen. But yeah, we just have some books up here that I would rather not keep in the bookshelf because, like, this is a pop-out book and those always get ruined. Down here's my binder where I keep all my worksheets. The shelf itself, where everything's sitting on, is from Ikea, I believe. I got it on Facebook Market for $10 and I thought that was a steal and it's pretty perfect for our room. And this is kind of our <laughs> randomness bin. But it's all kind of learning based. So we have our workbooks down here. They're like write and wipe ones, so they're reusable. So all the kids have actually done this one already by now. Extra coloring books. They're all that stuff's from the Dollar Tree, I believe. We have some water wows. Our smart cookie stickers. Behind that bin, I keep some games for us to play. These are the games that we play like a lot. Right below that, all of our Duplo Legos, we have a lot. Two of these boards. Then we have all of our books in this crate in here. Coda Pillar and some more Legos. So that is everything on the shelf. Right here we have our dollhouse. It's pretty cute. Right here is, you would never know it, but a chair, like a big Joe beanbag chair. And then we have pillows, blankets, little pillows. And I basically lay all the kids out on the floor for movie time. Then I just kind of fold it all up and stick it there again. I do want to figure out a different solution for this for next year, but this is what worked for us this summer. Over here is our like dress up slash stuffed animal bin. It's cute. At movie time, they all pick an animal out of the bin and they call it their movie buddy. Right up here, this is where we keep all our puzzles. I'm sorry, I probably won't be able to link any puzzles below because they're all from thrift stores or Facebook market. We have these like shapes, uh, cards. Found these at a thrift store for a dollar. And then we have our coloring pages and I kind of just separate them all by a paper clip. And these are all of my kids. Ooh, these are all my kids' files. Extra binder with all my worksheets. And all the way at the top, this is my EpiPen bin and my first aid kit. And they're pretty easy to just grab off the top. Then I have small Legos in this bin. I really only use these for my older boys. Over here is kind of like our more dramatic play area. As I mentioned, there's dress-up clothes in there. And then there's the baby. 
The baby just kind of sits here in the shopping cart. A little chef apron from the Dollar Tree. This is a Melissa and Doug kitchen. It's wooden. I can probably find this online and link it below. I got it for $30 on Facebook Market. Somebody was getting rid of it. My kids have loved this. This is like one of their favorite toys in the room, especially, especially my girls. I definitely would recommend a wooden kitchen because I feel like they just last longer. I feel like plastic kitchens tend to break more. Now, I have like a fully stocked kitchen. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff in here. These are the Melissa and Doug box foods. Down here, we just have like fruits and veggies and then McDonald's cleaning supplies and then just random food basket down here. And my kids actually know how to separate it, which is really cute. <laughs> down here, we keep our plates, utensils. Under here is our kind of like our doctor area. This is like our vet doctor kit. And then <laughs> this is our donut shop box, which is actually adorable. I'll show you that real quick. <laughs> so cute. Everything else is from a thrift store. Everything. I got this at Toys R Us, but you know, Toys R Us is gone now, so unfortunately. It's a coffee maker. Kids really like it because you can like change the coffee and it makes noise when you push that. Phones. I have like phones in a basket. Some of them make noise. Some of them are just my old cell phones. We have some cute little oven mitts. Up here we have our counting cookies. And then we just have a little bin of Shopkins. And then we have our finger puppet theater, which I love so much. And all these puppets are from like thrift stores or wish.com. I think I got a lot of puppets on. Then I just have this Feel the Learn poster. I love this poster from Lakeshore and it's so, so cute. The kids really like it too. Oh, let me show you what's in this cabinet. Yeah, I know it's a hot mess in here, but <laughs> this is where I store everything. So we have our Play-Doh in here. This is our microscope and we have a lot of toys, extra toys back there. Then we have our spin art machine, science kit, and our two STEM engineering design kits, which are so, so great. I will link those below. Down here is more our craft supplies and things like that. These three bins, which I use very, very frequently. This is our stickers. This bin is our painting supplies, paint brushes, paint cups. All of our little acrylic paint jars are in there. And we use those a lot when we paint things like these, like these wooden you know, things that I get from AC Moore. I also keep my sand art bottles in here, but I'm running low on sand art. And then in here is like our funnels and spoons for sand art. Over here we have like a dig kit, some spin art stuff. In here is a bunch of random crafts. My kids love to make snow. And these are all my sand art jars. Over here, it's like our Batman <laughs> and Mr. Freeze cave. Books we've read, which I have not updated for a long time. These were just some of the kids' favorites that we read this summer. And I thought it was important for the parents to see like what kinds of books the kids liked over the summer. So that way maybe they could go buy it if they wanted to or check it out of the library. Here's the stairs to the upstairs, which is the kitchen. We do not go in the kitchen. This is my parents' house and they prefer for us to stay downstairs. So I definitely respect their wishes to, uh, for that since they're letting me run a business in their home. When I'm making lunch, I'm standing right about here and I can literally see the table from where I'm standing back there. So it works out pretty nice because I'm making lunch up here and they're eating lunch right there and or they're watching a movie. If they're watching a movie, I don't really even need to be able to see them at that point because they're just all laying down. If they're still eating while I'm making lunch, I can still see them, which I really like about that. Real quick, I'll just take you back here. Sometimes we come through the kitchen just to get to the porch. Sometimes if it's a nice day like today, we'll do like a craft out here. Sometimes we'll all sit around here and do some sand art or Play-Doh or something. Um, the kids really like a change of scenery. And then here's our bathroom. There's the lid for the sensory bin. <laughs> okay. I have just some little towels. I do wash these very often, but we use paper towels for the most part for my kids. I tried to keep them from using it so I don't have to be constantly washing those towels, but it's fine. And we have our baby gate. This gate was originally to block off up here if it ever was an issue with kids like trying to go upstairs but it really hasn't been an issue, so we really don't need it um, at the moment. Little stool, because the sink is pretty tall. We have a little mirror, hi! <laughs> Washing your hands poster that I got at Lakeshore, and I love it, because um, the kids actually look at it and, and they follow the steps. Obviously our toilet, some tissues, we have a little potty seat back there that I clean every day, and just some stuff. I kind of use this as my drying rack up here. <laughs> when we do a science project or paint or something, I let it all dry up here. In here, I keep all of our cleaning stuff. So our, our wipes, extra baggies, some aloe. Sometimes my kids come back from vacation very sunburned. I keep some extra bowls down here, um, our s'mores maker. On the other side, I have our paper towels and toilet paper, some gloves just in case somebody has an accident or, or I actually wear them at the end of the day when I'm cleaning things as well. Up here we have 
all of our cleaner, carpet cleaner, uh, toilet cleaner. This is the cleaner I use for the toys. It's the Purell food service spray. Out here, then we have my toy shelf. Here, I keep all my big trucks, robots, blocks. I have three different sets of blocks jumbled into this. We have our magnet tiles. My kids love these. I actually got all my magnet tiles for $2 at a thrift store, and they are the real magnet tiles brand magnet tiles. Some indoor balls that we can play with. We have our cars, our My Little Ponies, of Lincoln Logs, superheroes, dollhouse stuff, Mr. Potato Head, animals, and some more Lego stuff. Over here is our Barbie house with Barbies underneath. Right above that is our Let's Get Along a poster from Lakeshore, and I really like that one. So yeah, I think that pretty much completes our tour. There's probably some things that I left out or forgot to show you. If I can find anything from this room that's discounted, I will leave it in the description below. I'm gonna try to find as many things as possible online and just leave them all in the description for you. If there's anything specifically that you want to see uh, more of in this room or that you'd like me to make a video about just let me know I want to make more videos about my daycare I think I learned a lot this year and I think I have a lot that I can share with you guys Sorry, my friend called me and had an issue so I had to stop for a minute I don't remember what I was saying so I'm just going to end the video here If you guys liked this video, please leave a like on it Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me As always, please leave a comment in the comments below And check out the links that I'm going to leave down below um, Because that's where I'll be leaving all the items in the room Thank you so much for watching and I will see you when I see you <laughs>